Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chris and for today's video, I'm going to guide you how to apply for a tourist visa for South Africa if you are a Filipino. So if you have a Philippine passport and you're interested or you wish to visit South Africa, please keep on watching. Before anything else, I just want to thank you for stopping by my channel and a quick shout out to the following ladies, Brenda, Jaya, Kate, um, Saiba May Vlogs, Eileen and Kaya, and Jib Nice Vlogs. Thank you ladies for always supporting my channel and my videos. And also, if you're keen to see more videos about life here in Cape Town as a Filipino, uh, my online teaching career, some travel and adventures, and my life with Jesus, I hope you'd consider subscribing to my channel and hit that notifica <coughs> notification bell so you'll get updated of my upcoming videos. So going back to the topic guys how can we get a tourist visa or visitors visa to South Africa if you have a Philippine passport there are four main topics I'll be talking about first is of course the requirements so you will find a full list of requirements from VFS global website which is on this link I just want to point out though that you need to make sure that your passport is valid for six months within the time of your estimated travel. For example, you want to travel on June, make sure your passport is still valid until December of the same year. There are also additional requirements that are not on the website, but I was asked for when I first applied for my visitor's visa. So I was asked for a stamp certificate from the bank reflecting your um, balance, your account balance. And you'll also be asked to submit a letter um, providing the list of activities or outlining what activities you will be doing in South Africa. You can let your sponsor make the letter or you can also write it yourself. So just uh, address it to the consulate writing what you wish to see and what you wish to do in South Africa. When I first applied for my tourist visa, I also included a round trip flight. Although at this point, I'm not very sure if you really have to do that or it is safe or it is advisable for you to do that due to the whole international travel restrictions. Of course, we know that at this time, it's not that easy to, to make plans for the future because anytime the airlines or any country can close, they can do another lockdown and just, it's crazy. So I leave it all up to you if you want to confirm your flights already. But at this point, I would not really recommend doing that. Step two, after you gathered all your requirements, you can submit it personally to their office. So VFS Global in the Philippines has two offices, one in Cebu and one in Manila. However, for South African visas, we can only submit our requirements to the Manila office. Unfortunately, they do not process a South African visas in Cebu office. So again, their office is located in Chino Rosas Avenue, which is, this is the full address. There is no need for you to book an appointment. You can submit it personally. In fact, that's how they want it to be processed. You need to submit all the requirements personally at their office. Make sure before you go there that you downloaded a scanner, um, barcode scanner, because they will ask you to scan something before they even let you enter the office. And also make sure you have all the requirements ready, um, including the signed form, the fulfilled or completed uh, application form. Let's talk about waiting time or processing time. When I first applied for my tourist visa way back 27, uh, no, 2018, I actually waited for approximately uh, a week and then I got my uh, a text or notification that my visa is ready or my passport is ready for collection. I just want to give you additional pointers to consider. So due to the lockdown in Manila, when the uh, VFS Global reopened sometime in October of last year, they only allowed 
submission of requirements on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'm not 100% if they're still doing the same thing or I would suggest that you give them a call first before you go to their office. And that's pretty much it guys. So just make sure that you have all the requirements ready. Prepare your barcode scanner on your phone and also make sure that regarding your bank statement that it's not more than seven days um, from the day that you submitted all your requirements and obviously you need to wear masks um, just have your own pen if uh, they let you sign something just make sure you have all things with you handy all right so i hope this quick video helped you guys and if you have any questions feel free to comment down below i'll answer all your questions as soon as i can so take care guys see you on the next video bye bye